What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's pink shirt day, which that means there's some special stuff in this video for you. If you're a SaaS agency owner, you want to know why you're having a hard time getting customers. You're wanting to know why you can't get past five, 10, whatever customers. If you're having a struggle, not getting customers, this video is for you. All right. Whenever I hear agencies saying things like, how much do I price my SaaS at? what ads are working best to get customers right now or what is the trick to cold email these are red flags that they don't understand a very fundamental principle in their business and it is a blind spot now i know this because this was a blind spot in my business this has also been a blind spot in the businesses of other successful agencies that I know. And then on our Ask Me Anything Fridays, every time somebody come to the meeting with a question, 99.9% .9 of the time, this is the source problem. So chances are it's your problem too. So let's see if we can solve that right now. So on your screen right now, you are seeing a pyramid. The bottom of that pyramid, we don't know what that is yet, but let's talk about the middle and then the top. So the middle is the offer part of the pyramid and then at the top we have persuasion now when people ask questions like how much do i price my SaaS? how do you get customers they are thinking about their offer okay and that is not where we need to be thinking to become successful that is the second part of the process and then they started thinking about email headlines all that kind of stuff and that's the persuasion you guys this is a huge blind spot if we don't fix that bottom if we don't know what the foundation of our pyramid is we will fail in fact look at the screen right now and you are seeing a graph on what uh, is the cause for most failure in small business the top one says cash flow problems well, what is cash flow? Cash flow is money actually being made by the business. It's not money that was invested, meaning they didn't come into this poorly funded. It means that they never got off the ground. They don't make any cash flow. So that is the number one reason. But the question is why? Same reason why you're not getting customers or you're not getting a lot of customers. And that is the number two reason. Now the number two reason says lack of market need. What does that even mean? Well. In layman terms, it basically means that you created a product that other people don't want to buy. And entrepreneurs are notorious for this. We always create, we have ideas, we create products, but we don't ever think about asking the market what it is that they want. It's not about what you want to sell, it's about what the audience needs and what they want to buy. In fact, if you take that lack of market need, if you take that number right there, that 42%, it is actually causing the 82%, okay? So it should be the top bar. How do we solve this problem? How do we solve for lack of market need? Let's go back to the pyramid. Now on this channel, we talk a lot about categories, niches, sub niches. You've heard me say that probably at nauseum by now. However, if you look at the pyramid now, you will see that the bottom, the base of the pyramid is the niche market. The niche market is the starting point of your agency. It is where you need to identify the problems, complaints, and complexities of your audience. If you can do that, if you can start right there at the base, creating an offer and knowing what types of persuasive elements to use and offers to use becomes effortless, becomes natural. Okay. But most people struggle at creating an offer at knowing how to persuade people because they don't know who they're persuading. And this is why most businesses fail. So what exactly is a niche? A lot of people think that real estate is a niche or that insurance is a niche or that contractors are a niche. These, my friend, are categories. And at some point in time, after you have your agency long enough, you can get up into the categories, but to start and to really scale, you have to find a sub niche. Now, I think it was probably two or three weeks ago, we had a great example on this channel about an agency who found their sub niche in a really creative way. The category was contractors. The niche was bathroom remodelers, which you could build an agency just off of that. But then this person went really specific down to a sub niche and identified their sub niche as bathroom remodels for senior citizens. Now think about that for just a minute. The materials, the vendors, the audience that would be buying those types of services, they're all completely different. 
and unique. So all of a sudden, instead of competing with all of the people at the category and at the niche, now you're only competing with those who are specific to that sub niche. And that is the power. It removes competition. It makes your ads very specific and makes your offers congruent to the people who you will serve. Or in other words, it imposes the needs of the market in your business. Thus, no more lack of market need, thus lots of money. So if you want to be successful, start your business knowing and identifying who the sub niche is, then you'll know what offer to create, and then you'll know what persuasive tactics you need to blow up your agency. We'll see you on the next video.